I've heard this myth that some languages are more complex than others. Is that really true? Well, let's unpack this a little bit. Because haven't we all heard of those languages that are supposedly really, really complex? They have really complex grammar, lots of different structures, a lot of irregularities. And that generally puts people off learning those languages because, well, they're too complicated. Well, maybe other than polyglots like myself who like to learn other languages and who are very often attracted to those languages with a lot of complexity. Okay, but what do we mean by this complexity? Where do these irregular grammatical forms come from? Well, when we look at where they come from in some of those languages like Icelandic, Georgian, etc., we can see that many of those strange forms, those forms that are really complex, have arisen through language history. They've um, arisen because other forms have come in and they are remnants of some older structures or the ways in which the language is organized. And we can also see that in other languages where we have a lot of language contact influence. So where surrounding languages were spoken in a similar setting and those surrounding languages have influenced that language that um, is now more complex. We don't have to go very far because English is a really good example. In English, we have a lot of irregular forms like plurals and past tenses that are historical remnants from some strong verbs, etc. And we have um, other forms that have come in through contact that have developed in English through language contact with other languages. And hence, we have that irregularity. And some languages have irregularity across the different grammatical functions. Other languages seem to be much more simple and have far less of this sort of irregular grammar. But these languages may have other ways to convey meaning. They have tones, for example, to divide up the different aspects of the language. They may have very fixed word orders. They may have ways to indicate where the speaker has that information from that they're talking about. Uh, all things that the languages of the world have in one way, and they divide up their languages in such a way that languages become expressive. Because as native speakers of languages, we need our language to be expressive enough to convey our meaning, to get our point across. But at the same time, our brains are only able to deal with so much at any one time, so the languages need to be relatively easy to process. And the only way we can do that is by dividing the languages up into nice little chunks. And these chunks are usually what is grammar in the very widest sense. So we have this grammar, we divide the language up into chunks so we can deal with it. But then complexity comes in in a number of different ways, through historical processes, through new grammar forming, or through language contact. So, are there some languages that are more complex than others? Well, to express meaning, we can say that all languages are equally complex. All languages, all mother tongue languages, can express meaning in that way. But there are two caveats here. Not all languages are spoken or signed by mother tongue speakers. Some languages, such as trade languages, pigeons and so on, are used in very specific environments and for quite restricted types of communication, maybe just for trade, maybe just for certain types of conversations and so on. And these languages are much less complex in their grammar and in their vocabulary and in their ways of expressing things. So those languages are far less complex. But we can also see another type, namely languages that are spoken in very complex societies, societies that use technologies, that use um, writing, etc. Those societies tend to use languages that are much more complex, have a much larger vocabulary, uh, may have more complex grammar. I say may because it's not necessarily the case. Whereas other languages that are used in very small communities for um, communication, amongst those community members where communication may be restricted to certain environments and not technology, writing, maths and so on, those languages may show traits that do not look as complex as those in other languages. And one of those examples is Piraha, one of the languages I've worked on. And I've got other videos on this. 
So coming back to this question, whether some languages are more complex than others, well, if we look at trade languages, they are less complex in their vocabulary and in their grammar than languages spoken by mother tongue speakers. But the languages spoken by mother tongue speakers, well, they have to be complex to a degree in order to express all meaning that is required. But the way this complexity comes across is quite different from language to language. So some languages may look really complex grammatically, but a bit simpler in terms of the way they're pronounced or, or, or their lexicon or other ways, whereas other languages may be really, really complex in the way they are pronounced, they're built up in other ways. So complexity, it really depends on how we define complexity. So is this a myth? Well, ish, but not really, because there are languages that are more complex than others. Most of the languages used as L1s, as native languages.